Let's talk women talk. Today we meet an unsung heroine who is empowering some of our friends with special needs here in Singapore through the art of baking. Watch her story here on Women Talk Pulse. Hi, my name is Lina Ong. I'm the founder of La Power. We are actually a social enterprise bakery that trains kids with special needs to bake so that um, they will have skills that can be used in F&B industry and can find jobs uh, that will give them a sustainable future. I, I have been um, doing corporate marketing for 14 years. I took a sabbatical in 2011. Uh, went to Cambodia and Thailand and lived there for six months. I volunteered teaching English in the villages. So when I came back, I spent about two years uh, trying to figure out like where the gaps in the social fabric are in Singapore. And, and I found out that kids with special needs after 18, they basically have nowhere much to go. Uh. So I decided to come out and do this. Uh. I chose baking because it, it's a very structured activity, I think, for the kids. Like, the recipe only varies in terms of the quantity that you need to make. My first priority is always that food should be good. People shouldn't buy from us because you feel sorry for us, but because you like our food and it helps that you're doing a social mission as well. Hopefully, by eating our food right, and liking our food, they will come to know what we are doing and start to try and find out more about kids with special needs and how to help them. Now. The process of teaching a kid, I've come to realise, is very individualised. For example, for Jad, he has a ASD, Autism Spectrum Disorder. Jad follows a schedule. I tell his mom what the schedules are and, and basically she writes it down. He has uh, different uh, characteristics which uh, are challenging. Uh. For example, he needs to take breaks. But the part about getting him to identify the uh, matching the figures on the recipe to the weighing scale, that was challenging and that took about two weeks to actually do. But he has done it lah, and, and he can do it with minimal supervision. I had a boy with Down syndrome, he couldn't understand figures at all. So that was another challenge in itself. He didn't know whether one was bigger than two or two was bigger than three. So, that, so each one has their own special challenges. I, I think it's challenging as it is to run a commercial business in Singapore with the overheads. Uh, it's even more challenging when we employ kids with special needs because we cannot work as fast. I wouldn't say there are any bad experiences. I mean, all the experiences point us to learn new stuff. I got hit by Judd because he, he had a meltdown. And managing a meltdown, I've realised is to just let it just go its due course. He has no other way of articulating his frustration or his anger and so that's his way of telling you that he's sad or he's angry or he can't manage something and he doesn't mean it on purpose. Before I started working in social enterprises, I didn't know any people with special needs and I'm quite sure a lot of people don't either. To get to the point of accepting kids with special needs is a process. La. We can start by helping the younger generation, trying to integrate them, um, getting them to meet kids with special needs. I think on the ground also, uh, people need to be more accommodating. The public just needs to open their hearts a little bit more to these kids. Like, yeah, not just the high-functioning kids you know, that you can communicate with, but even people like Judd. Yeah, we still get stares when we go to Thompson Plaza and and he claps his hands very loudly. It's just his way of expressing happiness. La. The experiences with the kids has been very rewarding. I'm hoping to give them a better future, to be able to give them the extra push. I think that keeps us going. La. I'm not trained in special needs education. I'm just trying to learn to love them and be as patient as I can with them. I believe that we have been blessed so that we can be a blessing to others. Star Power, we are online uh, www.starpower.com.sg Being able to empower the kids. Uh, it's not so much empowerment on my part, but giving the kids the uh, empowerment to create a sustainable future for themselves through the skills that we can teach them uh, through, through Star Power. Thank you so much for watching Women Talk. Here are more stories of inspiring women just for you.